joined by the contingent from South Carolina from your left to right, head coach Shelly Smith, student athletes Grace Fisk and Savannah McCaskill. Uh, we'll go ahead and have Coach Smith give an opening statement. At that time, we'll take questions for the student athletes. Please raise your hand. We'll get you a microphone. State your name and affiliation. Once we're done with the student athletes, we'll uh, excuse them and go with questions for Coach Smith. Coach? Yeah, um, obviously, uh, no one wants to be sitting here um, saying the season's over, but I uh, couldn't be more proud of this group and this team. And, and uh, like I said earlier, before the game, we're, we're thrilled to be here. Uh, obviously, it was the first time for this program. And um, we're honored to be here, honored to represent the SEC. And um, I, I told these players to, to not hang their head. They've done amazing things for our program. Uh, they accomplished great things. And um, we just ran up against a, a, a better team tonight. Uh, Stanford is, is excellent. Um, you know, we wish them well, and they deserve that win. And um, you know they will challenge for a national championship for sure. So uh, congratulations to Stanford. And I'm uh, proud to have had the chance and opportunity to compete uh, tonight um, against it's against a team that's been here before and won a championship and done so well um, tonight. Great, okay, Coach. Thank you. Go ahead and uh, take some questions if we could. Just raise your hand here in the front, Alicia. Coach Alicia Delgallo with the Orlando Sentinel. Uh, how much do you think uh, it helps Stanford having been here before so many so many times? I think it's a, a huge difference. Um, I think. The way we played, uh, we were better than what we showed, in, especially in the first part. Uh, obviously, having an injury occur um, puts you in a little bit of a hole. But I don't think we really got after them and uh, played our game. And again, credit to Stanford, they won everything. Uh, <coughs> they beat us to balls. They won their tackles. Uh, they came in with some urgency. And, uh, and we uh, looked a little flat. And I know that a lot had to do with it, uh, us probably being the new new team here it is a difference so as i told the players as well um it's experience and we'll build from that and hopefully these uh, players like savannah will be able to come back and know that they've prepared our team to hopefully compete again in another college cup and give a better first uh start to a game again if we could start with just questions for the student athletes who's next here in the back in the, in the back, please. <laughs> grace we've talked all week about stanford's offense and how good they are what did they or what did you see from them tonight, uh, and how did it compare to what you saw in the film? Yeah, um, I mean, I'd say without a doubt, they were the best team we faced all season. Um, their offense was, was smooth, was fluent. They knew positions where they should be. The ball went out wide. They had numerous options in the box, and they caused us problems. And they knew how to pull us apart. Um, and you know, like Shay said, we didn't we didn't play how how we could play, how we should play. But Stanford did very well at pulling us apart and and playing their game. Um, and like I say, they, they knew how to, to get in positions that made it tricky for us. So like Coach Shelley said, you know, credit to them. They they made it tough for us and they, they showed why they should be in the final. Here in front. <clears throat> Mike Romano, the state newspaper. Actually, question, question for Grace. So obviously the first half, they got two early goals and then the second half, it seemed like it could have been more, but the back line kind of held their own there. I mean, what do you think was the difference? Was there anything you guys spoke about at halftime to just leave that scoring that way, or can you talk yeah. a about that? Um, yeah, we, we spoke about it at halftime. Like, this 45 minutes is make or break, you know? So we knew as a back line we had to hold on if we had any chance of, of getting a goal. Because if we let one in early on, then that was game over pretty much. So as long as we held our own, that gave us a chance to, you know, push on and maybe score a goal. And it wasn't to be, but. You know, I think we did ourselves proud holding on. It would have been easy to crumble in the second half. I think, you know, Stanford carried on building the pressure on, but we showed why we are a good defense all season long and we stayed strong. And I'm, I'm proud of the team and the proud of the back line because, like I said, we could have crumbled, but we stayed strong and gave us a chance. Savannah, how tough is it uh, losing a game like this where you're not, you don't have the ball and you're not getting the opportunities compared to a game where, where you would miss shots? Yeah, I mean, crit, like Shelly said, credit to Stanford. I mean, they had pretty much, I think it was probably 90 to 10 possession all game long. So um, just in a game like that, you have to do the work defensively. And um, I thought we did a much better job in the second half to try to hold our own defensively. But um, 
obviously we would love to have had more possession. We would have loved to have the ball to our feet, but at the end of the day, you just kind of have to put your head down and keep working. And I think especially as the game grew on, we did a much better job of that. Um, definitely came out a little flat in the first 20, 25 minutes, but you know, Stanford's a great team, and I think you know being here for the first time, some of our players, especially the young ones, it was. I mean, it's a big stage to play on against a phenomenal team. So they're going to learn from this, and they're going to come back, and hopefully in the next couple of years, be back here. Other questions for student athletes? Anything? Savannah, when all is said and done, I know it may be a little early to talk about this, but your legacy here, uh, a lot has been said about it. We'll just, what do you, if you can, I don't know recap your time and uh, what it meant being a, a game pack. Cool. Um, yeah, it's been a great four years. Um, credit to Shelly and Jamie for creating a phenomenal program. I mean, I definitely couldn't have dreamed of being at a better place. Um, so definitely <coughs> uh, traded it for the world. I wouldn't have chosen a different school, wouldn't have chosen a different program, a different group of girls to call it second family. Um, and being so young this senior year, I think it was even special, even more special because the other team or the other, the young ones really felt what the seniors wanted and they felt the, the heart and the grit that we showed every single day and they really matched that. And so just being part of a really special program that's going to be my family and I mean, I'm going to come back next year and see them do phenomenal things. So it's definitely been a great four years um, of my life. Time for one more for the student athletes if you have anything. All right, ladies, excuse, thank you. Congratulations thank on a great season. <coughs> Go ahead and take questions from Coach Smith at this point. On the end here. Michael Citro, the mainland.com. Shelly, could you talk a little bit about the venue, the atmosphere, and, and the playing surface tonight that, you know, where I know first time hosting this event? Uh, well, this place is phenomenal. Um, you know, it, it's it made it that much more of a special uh, occasion for us to come here and play in this kind of venue, uh, to set up a soccer specific facility. It, it's amazing. And um, we're honored to play here. The, the, the pitch was amazing. Uh, I never played on such nice uh, grass. I wish I had played. Um, but uh, no, it, it was great. Uh, our players um, um, were honored to play here. And it was also nice to see uh, fans uh, come in from both sides and really great support um, uh, for both teams. And the committee, the, the production, uh, everything was top notch. And you know, we felt that this was a really, obviously a special occasion to make it here, but to, to have the treatment and the hospitality um, it, it is different than anything we've ever experienced. And like I said, it's our first time and it was a, it was a special uh, opportunity for us. Questions? No? Yep, yeah, right here in front. Shelly Graham, A&T is being done. You, you are a team that has needed a, a, a lot of possession over the course of the year. That isn't one of the things that you, you've relied on, but is there something about Stanford that they, that is, is, is their possession more problematic than other, team, other teams you face? Well, I think um, the, t the games that our success has definitely come from having a, a bit of possession and building out of the back. And uh, our midfield, we play through the midfield. Um, Dom and Lindsay do such a good job switching the point of attack. And, you know, I think overall um, the difference was tonight we just, uh, we, as quickly as we played, um, sometimes it just wasn't quick enough. They were just a little bit faster and stronger and read the game so well. Um, I think we've pulled teams apart all, all season because we've moved the ball well and we've kept possession. We've played out of the back. Um, and we've changed up how we're attacking. And tonight it was hard to get a grip of the ball, get a grip, grip, grip of the game. Um, you know, we were put under pressure so quickly and, and we turned the ball over too much and didn't give us a chance. So, um, that huge credit to what Stanford did, how organized they were. Uh, how relentless they were in their defending, and then when they had the ball, they were just so composed. And you know, we put teams under pressure, and they're usually going to cough something up. Well, it shows how good Stanford is. They they really um, rarely gave the ball away, and that that makes it difficult on an opponent. Anything else for coach? Right. Again, 
Coach, thank you. Congratulations on a great season. Thank you.